Hey, howdy, hey, you got the Rock Doctor here on a beautiful Friday. And I'm out on the bike and we're gonna stop and take a look at uh, these Eocene volcanic rocks called the Dillon Volcanics and see what they have to tell us. Looking close up at the rock, you can see it's a light colored volcanic rock. Uh, when chemically analyzed, it comes out as a andesite or a dacite, something that's rich in silica, typically of what you might see coming out of a composite volcano in the Cascades of the Pacific Northwest today. Notice when you look up close at the rock, it's a very fine grain rock. That means that it extruded out of a vent and onto the surface where it cooled quickly and uh, formed a very fine grain volcanic rock. It does contain some crystals that are visible. Those are phenocrysts or early form crystals that were down there in the magma chamber and got coughed up when this lava flow came out of its vent and flowed out onto the surface. The other thing you notice about it is, uh, is layered. And we're gonna talk about the processes that cause the layering in these volcanic rocks in just a minute. So when we look closely at the rock, we can see it's layered. And the layering is called flow banding. It's not from individual lava flows. It's instead from internal flow in this very, very viscous lava where the flow is laminar, meaning it's flowing with uh, flow lines that are parallel to one another, and uh, it generates uh, chemical processes that result in differences along the flow bands within the lava as it's flowing across the ground. And then those are weathering differently uh, today, allowing us to see the bands. Looking at the rock from the road, um, one of the things that you notice first and foremost is that it's tilted. The layers are tilted. Um, and that tilting, one would think, well, that's tectonic, right? That's from plates colliding with one another. But that's not what's going on. Let's take a close-up look and see if we can figure out why these rocks are tilted at an angle. Looking at the outcrop, what you notice is that it's folded. And these lava flows are not tectonically folded, they are flow folded. So they're so thick and they're so viscous when they come out of their vents that they literally underplate. They accumulate on the underside, grow a big pile, and the pile collapses and spreads out. And as it does, it is uh, so thick that it starts to uh, roll over itself and generate internal folds. So flow folding is a common feature in these Eocene volcanic rocks. Hey, I hope you learned something of value to you watching uh, this episode on the Eocene volcanic rocks, Southwest Montana. Um, I'm headed on the bike down the road, take advantage of this beautiful day. Thanks so much for watching Montana Geology with the Rock Doctor.